Lexi and I are really enjoying our time together, but not to worry, I do have a video to share with you guys, and it's a video you've never seen before that you might find useful, just in time for summer. I've been watching a ton of videos on how to install these Max Air fans. Deluxe. I want to make this video because a lot of the videos I've seen were one, way too long, and two, a lot of people were using some suspect materials and methods. So I'm going to make this quick and I'm going to use all the right stuff. Here's what you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need the Max Air fan itself. This thing looks like a turtle shell. I went with the smoked turtle shell. It comes with everything you need to install it. It's got a little goodie bag right here including hardware and some little uh, electrical connections. No need to buy any of that stuff. Also comes with a beauty ring. We'll talk about the beauty ring a little later. Some people call it a garnish ring. It goes on the inside. On the inside. You're gonna need a roll of butyl tape. Got this on Amazon. In fact, I got all this stuff on Amazon and I'll link it in the description if you would like to get this stuff on Amazon as well. And lastly, to seal it all up, you're gonna need two tubes of white cock. It's actually a self-leveling Dicor lap sealant but you're gonna shoot out of a cocking gun, so we're just gonna call it white cock. As far as tools go, you're not gonna need too many. You're gonna start off needing a uh, Sharpie. Next tool you're gonna need is a drill. The next tool you're gonna need is a jigsaw. This is actually a very interesting jigsaw. It's a Black & Decker jigsaw that I made a Porter Cable battery fit in to match my drill. I know, mind is blown. You're gonna need some drill bits, and you're gonna need a five inch jigsaw blade. You might need a longer jigsaw blade depending on how much insulation you've packed into the roof of your van. I only got an inch, so. Just the inch kind of guy, a five inch kind of blade, it's gonna work for me. Oh, and you're also gonna need a tape measure. That's the last tool though, really, I promise. Let's get started. Step one, surprisingly, begins inside the van. You will eventually be cutting a 14 by 14 inch hole in your precious van, but first, you're gonna wanna find a nice center point and drill a hole from the inside out. That's kind of a reference. Take some commitment. Safety first. Now we're ready to head outside, but before we do that, here's a pro tip. You're gonna wanna take the plastic wrapping that came with your Max Air fan, and tape it to the inside of your van. It's gonna act as kind of a catch for all the wood chips, dust, styrofoam, metal shard, schmegma, goulage, you know, all that stuff that potentially would just fall through the hole and straight into your bed. Nobody likes sleeping with that stuff. Pro tip. Time to head on to the roof. Come on, let's go. Welcome to the roof, where it's hotter than Satan's sauna and windier than a cyclone. But as you can see, we got a little tiny hole. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. But uh, that really helped me out. I'm gonna line this up. It's gonna clear the solar. And uh, time for the hardest part. plastic bag idea to catch all the debris, it uh, it didn't work. Woo, it's getting hot out here, I'll tell you what. All right, next step, acetone, clean the edges. Clean them real good. All right, it's butyl time, baby. Butyl tape is kind of like Play-Doh in a lot of ways. It's kind of kind of squishy, but it's also kind of sticky. The only thing that's gonna make this install kind of different than a Sprinter or some of the Dodge vans is I got these ridges here right in the middle of the fan. So I'm gonna have to build up the butyl so it's all kind of level. All right, we're super butyled over here now. Time for the rewarding part. Mounting the flange. Next, I'm gonna bust this load of lap sealant all the way around. Grab your caulking gun. 
All right, the last and final step, thank God, because it is way too hot to be on the roof installing fans right now. This is like the seventh hottest I've ever been in my entire life. Anyway, make sure that your fan is completely open and then freaking hot today dude it's a hundred and four in the shade but uh, all I gotta do is wire this thing up which I can do inside and then we will have a max air fan the only thing you need to know about the wiring on this fan is black is actually the positive that's all you need to know it's just a straightforward wiring job then we'll have a fan Woo. Now that the fan is installed and wired, there's only two more things to be done. Install this interior trim garnish ring thing. You're gonna do this by placing it up here and marking the edges. That will give you a measurement. You then take that measurement, which is two and a half, and transfer it down to the bottom. I'm gonna cut a two and a half inch line all the way around, and that's it. that's it max air fan is installed this thing's gonna keep me cool as it pushes and pulls air which is great because it's uh, been very very hot you guys could do this too I solidly believe that anyone can install this you don't need to be an expert you don't need anybody's help you could do it too just use the supplied hardware you don't need to make one of those frames for the inside out of wood to support anything this fan is super light it's gonna be fine just sitting there like that uh, also, definitely do not cut the hole with an angle grinder. You'll get rust all over your roof as that thing just flings sparks everywhere. Use a jigsaw and uh, use the supplied hardware. It comes with sheet metal screws. They work great. Use the butyl tape, get all butyled out up there, and uh, bust that lap sealant all over the place. And that's it. Simple install. So I'm pretty happy with it. And please, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. And that's it. Thanks for watching this how-to video. I will see you guys next time about something completely different.